Today you'll find out how the color of your t-shirt affects the heating of your body from the sun rays and what you can do about it. We purchased eight identical t-shirts made of the same material, but of different colors for our experiment. To make it more accurate and illustrative, we ordered two huge boxes containing eight muscular mannequins with a hole in the bottom. But before dressing this army of plastic men, we bought eight sticks from the hardware store for each dummy. Make them shorter and sharper so that they can easily get into the ground. Now it's time to attach the stick to the back of each man with the help of tape so that they can hold securely. Put the sticks upright and drive them into the ground with the help of an axe. The only thing left is to put the t-shirts on each mannequin and start the experiment. We've chosen what I think are the most popular t-shirt colors. Purple, yellow, black, red, white, blue, green and grey. Try to guess what two colors will be the most heated and the two that will be the coldest. Place your bets, because the winner who guesses the colors correctly won't get anything. In the meantime, we are leaving them for 20 minutes, so that the bright sun heats them up as much as possible. We'll use a digital pyrometer for measuring. You need to point it at the object. Press a button and it will show you the temperature of the surface. Let's start. Purple is at 48 degrees, yellow is only 33. We measure the temperature at the same point. Black is, oh my god, 50 degrees, red 36, white 24, blue is 45 degrees, it's also hot, green is 39, and grey 28. After that, we took a special thermal imaging camera that connects to the phone and shows the heat radiation of an object on the screen. Red and white marks are the hottest places, while blue and green are the coldest. Look at the vast difference between the t-shirts of various colors. Expectedly, the hottest color was black, but the purple t-shirt turned out to be almost as hot, 48 degrees. Try to avoid wearing these colors on sunny days. I thought the red t-shirt would also be hot, but it only got 36 degrees. The yellow t-shirt got even less hot with only 33. And the coldest t-shirt were the grey and white ones. Only 28 and 24 degrees. Whereas the body of the mannequin itself, which has the color of the human skin, heated up even more than the t-shirt. So white and light grey t-shirt would be a better choice in hot weather. If you are craving something colorful, then yellow would also be comfortable enough. Even the infrared image proves that these colors are the least heated. Now you know what clothes or what color should be avoided during hot days. And we have just received new gadgets from China, so we are already rushing to make the next video.